What you're seeing here is the full advanced gothic dungeon using Hearst Arts molds. If you want to build this, it uses molds number 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. The floors are made using molds number 201 and 205. This video is going to show every piece in detail, so it might help you decide if you actually want to build this thing. As a point of interest, um, this is the display that I took to Gen Con year after year, and I'm also going to be selling this on eBay sometime here, uh, not including the miniatures. Okay, before I get into the Gothic Dungeon pieces, I want to mention that there are some that I did not put on the building instructions page. These are just simply connector pieces. These are using basic building blocks from mold number 40 and floor tiles from mold number 201. You can see I've got some like three inch uh, hallway sections and they're only two blocks tall. Uh, on the sides here and everything of course in the gothic dungeon is mounted on one half inch thick pink foam anyway these connector pieces help you connect things together when the rooms themselves uh, don't really help with that. So now these are pretty obvious to see how they're used. Uh, let's say if we take this room and we put the hallway against it here and I want this hallway, I don't want it to go straight. Instead, I want it to bend. You'd uh, stick a corner on there and then you could get it to bend. These regular rooms themselves may not always be helpful when trying to get the dungeon to do what you want it to do. Another example of these hallways being useful is like if I wanted to connect this bridge right up to here. Well, obviously that's not very good. And if I wanted to uh, put stairs here well there's really no room in this room for a stairway so what you can do is you can kind of spread this apart use one of these hallway pieces right here and then you can kind of drop the stairs in right here that would lead up to the bridge so you can kind of see how that works like that with the bridge and there are also some other pieces like the uh, gate right here so if you want to gate off an area you can kind of drop it in here and you can have a gate that nobody can get by until they have the key or unlock something in the dungeon to remove the gate and then they'll have access to the bridge at this point I'm going to show each of the advanced gothic dungeon pieces as they appear in the instructions pages. The first one is called Peak Hall. Uh, this is one that you can see that I've got a couple of uh, little trap doors or uh, uh, little tiles that can be removed. By the way all of these dungeon pieces are mounted on half inch pink foam and you can see the bottom of what it looks like there. I'll also always bring this guy back so you can kind of compare the scale. He is a 28 millimeter Warhammer Fantasy figure. The next thing on the instruction pages are the modular doorways and here's one of the modular doorways. I did glue this into place because as a display on Gen Con if it was loose it would probably have gotten broken so I glued a lot of those into place. I do have a uh, door that fits in here so the door is loose and then you can kind of once again see how it fits with a 28 millimeter figure here on several of these pieces if you don't want this door glued here I did use a lean's tacky glue to glue this in so what you can do is take a paintbrush with some water and you can kind of paint around the doorway here and paint around the door let it soak and then paint a little more let it soak and then try to wiggle it you should be able I, I'm pretty sure to get this door loose uh, a couple of other pieces the next thing on the instructions are the uh, modular gates here I've got two of them and these are basically meant to fit into a hallway uh, any hallway that's got uh, two blocks high will fit right into and once again if you want to see the scale of the 28 millimeter figure that's what he looks like right there now the next ones in the instructions are the stair pieces uh, I've already showed you these but here's kind of a close-up look at what the stairs look like uh, when you make those on the instructions I have making two of those and on the set I'm selling there are two as well now here's the piece labeled stair room uh, it's got three openings here and the next opening Opening up above here is uh, higher up on the next level. Uh, this is what the room looks like here. This is what a uh, 28 millimeter figure looks like in the room. And as you tell by the instructions, this little section right here can lift off. I'm just grabbing it by the little skull piles. The skull piles are what keeps it from falling down as well. So this little section removes, and then we have this little uh, kind of pool of goo down here. Uh, that's uh, Envirotex light and some skeleton bones uh, sort of thing in there. So you can have that as you want as kind of a surprise but this will drop back down into place that's the front of it and that's the back of the piece and it basically forms kind of a cross room 
This one on the instructions is known as the opening gate. And uh, on the instructions, I've got a gate glued in here, but I went ahead and put a door instead. So there's a, a door glued in place. The next piece I have here is Thief Hall. Uh, this one right here is a six inch long hallway. This is what a 28 millimeter figure looks like in there. Uh, this statue right here is actually a Reaper miniature, I believe, is what I used for that. So that's what this looks like here. And you can kind of see the, uh, the back side of it. This piece is called the Cellar of Fear. I had shown you already that I had glued this modular doorway into the front of it. The miniature on here is a Reaper miniature, I believe. And this doorway, uh, or actually these stairs are actually open. Uh, so you can kind of uh, have people go down to another level in the dungeon. But anyway, let me kind of show you around this piece. This is what the uh, back of the piece looks like. The next piece is the Spectre Fountain. Uh, this once again has a Reaper miniature uh, put down here for the uh, uh, spout of the fountain. Uh, you'll notice this looks just a little bit red or a little bit brown. That's because I used five minute epoxy on this. The water down here is Envirotex light, but for the, uh, uh, for the spout right here is fishing line and five minute epoxy. And it actually, when I first did it, it was clear. It was crystal clear uh, and it looked great. Uh, after years though, I believe that epoxy kind of ages or burns up or does something so where it turns kind of a bit brown. So that's that's what you got so it doesn't look like the original uh, that you see in the instructions it's actually gotten a little bit brown over time so uh, I'll kind of let you see what this piece looks like all the way around here and this is a little bit a uh, little bit tall of a piece the next piece here is the sealed passage uh, pretty simple affair uh, it's a basically a six inch hallway and you can kind of see what the uh, uh, miniature 28 millimeter miniature looks like there and that's the front and that's kind of what the back of the wall section looks like the next one here is short pillar hall and here's 28 millimeter figure and there's the back it is only a four inch hallway and the next one is a demon shrine uh, this is what it looks like once again reaper miniature on there this is what uh, uh, 28 millimeter figure looks like. On the instructions, I believe I left this uh, unglued. I went ahead and glued it into place so it wouldn't get lost, but there are actually stairs going down. So once again, if you wet this down, you might be able to remove this so that the statue will move out of the way and you'll have stairways going down to another level. I do want to mention that the top of this, I kind of designed this badly. You notice that the little round tips are kind of broke off. Uh, some of these dungeon pieces, that's going to happen. Uh, I should not have designed it with tips like this sticking up so high. So because this was taken to Gen Con, put in a box, taken back out, uh, if you buy this on the auction, please note that the tips are kind of broken off there and there's really nothing to do about it. Personally, I don't, I don't think anybody even noticed uh, that they were broken off there. This is the King's Hall. Uh, this is one big heavy piece. Uh, I have the door glued in. Once again, you can kind of wet it and probably be able to remove the door. This is what a uh, 28 millimeter figure looks like uh, in the hallway. Uh, notice that the hallway goes up. Uh, this doorway comes out to the next level up. So if you're actually turning this around, this doorway that you see here, this doorway would match up to where the bridge would connect. So I think that works out really well together. So you can kind of see what those do kind of side by side there. The next piece is called a quiet rest. It's a pretty simple six inch long hallway. Here's the uh, 28 millimeter figure and you can see the bench there. That's the front of it. And this around here is the back side of it. This piece is called the meeting room. Uh, on this one, the uh, benches here are actually loose. Uh, the door here is glued into place. So you, if you want to wet that and remove it, this is what a 28 millimeter figure looks like here. Uh, there's also on the instructions right next to this, the sepulcher, and here's uh, one side of it. What I did is I actually glued it in place to form the platform uh, for what's up above. Uh, if you want to remove it, like I said, you may be able to wet that down and soften the glue and remove it. It may be pretty well stuck there though. But for the auction, I'll go ahead and throw in the other half because if you remove it and you would have like a full tomb there if, if you can actually get it off. I can't guarantee that you'd 
actually be able to to get that off though uh, let's do kind of a once around on this one that's what the side looks like there's the back and you notice the back here once again is on the second level so if you put a bridge uh, it would actually fit there on that level so that's what we have here the next piece we have here is called the bishop's gate and i've got a reaper miniature bishop back here let's see if we can kind of get a a close-up of that what that looks like uh, this is kind of a tall piece and once again I designed this badly where I got the points on the top luckily they never broke but that's something that can happen when you design it like that I've got gates on both sides I've got a door opening here and there are doors uh, other doors you can put in here I put the door that's like for jail cells uh, I've got I'll show it here later on in a minute that will actually fit on here so you can kind of see all around this piece this is what the uh, Bishop's Gate looks like. What we have here is called the small cell. And I did glue the door in here. Once again, you probably would be able to remove that. Uh, this is what a 28 millimeter figure would look like on that. And there's the front. There's the back. Pretty simple deal. And this room here is called the cell block. Now this one I had never actually taken to Gen Con. Uh, that's why all the doors are loose. So all of these doors will come out. And here's kind of a, uh, uh, a close-up of what the door looks like. Uh, there are three doors. Uh, so when you get this, it will actually come with the three doors. Here's what a 28 millimeter figure would look like there. So I'll give you a once around on this piece. And it's uh, three jail cells, uh, and it also forms a corner of the dungeon, so I think it works pretty well there. This is the secret column hallway shown on the instructions, and this uses the uh, secret blocks from mold number 44. This actually works out pretty nice, because this is just a regular column hallway, but what you can do is it opens up like this so you've got kind of a secret door in there uh, and the the blocks on the top are actually angled so that when you open it and close it they'll actually close to where it's really difficult to see where that was on there when you you push it in you can you can kind of see where that where that where that breaks open uh, but you have to have a kebab skewer or an eighth inch dowel rod in order to do that with the blocks but but that's what that is right there and this of course is the uh, uh, miniature and 28 millimeter so you can kind of tell it for scale the next one here is the low arch chamber and it's basically a hallway section with kind of a permanently attached uh, room to it this particular room you can see i've got the bone piles but those bone piles lift up and you can remove this floor and you can kind of see down in there i've got a, a kind of a slime pit and an alligator uh, plastic miniature kind of permanently glued down in there underneath that's envirotex light that's down there the other thing i've got is i try to use the secret door blocks again for this corner so you've got kind of a cute little escape out of the corner right here uh, can open up that far and if you want to look around from the back uh, from the back side you can't really see it but then when you push it open you can kind of see how that how that opens up like there the final piece here is the knight's bridge and it's a it's a pretty long bridge uh, this kind of separates in the middle and I made it so it's kind of ruined but those two ruined bits fit together so you can use it as a full bridge or you can kind of separate it so the heroes have to perform a jump roll or or something uh, like that here's the size of the uh, uh, 28 millimeter miniature on there and that's what the miniature looks like on the arch down below i'll kind of give a, a once around of of i i do want you to know that uh there were four little uh tips on the top of here but those got kind of broke off so when you if you uh purchase this on the auction notice that those are going to be gone i should never have planned spiky points up you know uh that high but anyway here's uh, uh what one of the pieces uh looks like on the side by the way those are reaper miniatures on the side of the bridge and that's the other side, and that's kind of how it was constructed.